Hey everybody, it's Jem with Chappy Plans. Thanks for hanging out with me for this daily journaling video. If you'd like to see what I'm gonna do, stick around. Hey friends, it's Jem with Chappy Plans. Today I am in week 46, my Archer and Olive daily journal. It's a B6 size, so it's Bigger than, you know, a traditional, what you see a lot of people using for Bujo style journals. I just like the bigger size because I have to be able to fit all my writing for the week. So um, I just decided to make this huge leaf and I'm going to write in each of the leaves um, to represent each day of the week. And I thought that was kind of fun and different. And I like that it's like across two pages. And yeah, I just thought it was kind of different. So um, that's obviously my theme for the month of November. I'm going with like, you know, fall foliage and um, mushrooms and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to use my Tombow Dual Brush Pens and do a bunch of coloring. I'm just going to leave out the dark brown. I'll use that one for um, the twig part of the leaf and then also the little like berry type they're not berries. I don't know what they are. The little like ovular shaped bud looking things. Buds? Is that what they are? I don't know, people. I, I have a black thumb, so that's why I have to put plants in my journal and use plant stickers and floral stickers in my planner because I just, I kill everything that has chlorophyll. So <laughs> thank God for journals and markers and coloring, right? Did you guys see the appearance of Jeeves, my very, very, very fat, <laughs> sweet boy cat? He's a black tuxedo cat. He um, popped up onto my lap. He's getting a little bit more brave about coming into the craft room. He refused to come in for like the first few weeks that we had Smokey because this is where he sleeps at night and where his litter box and his food and water are but he's been venturing in here every now and then and as you can see he decided to hop up on my lap and try to sort of hop up on the desk while I was col coloring these leaves in which was very uh difficult we'll say um but he eventually hopped down so um I didn't want to like push him off because <laughs> he um you know, was already hesitant to like come in here. So I'm trying to, you know, acclimate him and get him more comfortable with Smokey and just the two of them being friends. Um, anyhow, that was a tangent about my cat. You're welcome. Back to the video. <laughs> it's not that exciting, right? Like it's sped up quite a bit because honestly, if this were in real time, you guys would fall asleep, I think. Maybe not. But I, if it were me watching, I'd be like, really? So I speed it up. It's sped up to four times the speed. Plus, you get, you know, the satisfaction of seeing me color, but it's just a lot quicker, right? So I decided to color in those little buds the same brown, and then I'm going to stamp my days of the week. I kind of realized that Wednesday was going to be way too big, like long of a word to fit in that tiny spot that I have up at the top by the orange leaf. So I just decided to take some of the ink off and only stamp W-E-D, and I think that worked out just fine. Um... Let's see what else. Uh, oh, and then at the very end, I'm going to stamp the week and the week number in the top left white spot, which I left there intentionally so that I could make sure I got that stamped out. And um, that way, you know, it helps me keep track of like when I'm doing my project life and I go, I definitely reference this every single week when I um, complete my project life so that I can remember, you know, how I was feeling on a certain day or like little things that happened. So for me to have like the week in a very easy to see spot, very visible, like I can just flip to that week and go, oh, okay, this is the week I'm gonna pull journaling from. And then, you know, all is well. So it helps me stay organized. It helps me, you know, um, yeah, like just make sure that I'm not journaling the wrong week. Um, so that's why it's important that I get all the dates and the week numbers. Um, correct. I know it's probably tedious to watch, but that hopefully gives you a little bit of insight. Um, but that's going to be it for this week. So let me know if you guys have any questions about anything. Um, hopefully it was pretty straightforward and you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and for watching this video. Be sure to like this video if you did 
and make sure you're subscribed if you're not, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, friends, and remember that you are enough. Have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye!